Well, could it be magic, or could it be comic artist pro secrets, or could it be both? I'm Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a 26-year veteran of the uh, comic book industry. The comic book industry. Is that, is that still a thing? World's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan, and trusted member of the media. You can trust me. You can trust Ichibaka over at Disney. Star Wars is uh, dumb.wordpress.com. Uh, trust us, we know what's going on. What is this? C-3PO is not a big fan of the sequel trilogy? Then why are you helping them make it, sir? Why are you collaborating with these monsters? Uh, I think that that makes you complicit. I think that's what the word is, complicity, C-3PO. Uh, wow, these are nice. Uh, salt and pepper shakers, I guess. A lot of salt and pepper would come out of those. I'm not sure that's what... Uh, I'm not sure I would use those. Uh, you know, I'd watch my cholesterol. From Express Online, another uh, <laughs> trusted news Express, trusted news source. Uh, their number one, <laughs> their number one um, resource is from the future. It's the future Star Wars content of Mike Zero. So trust Express Online. Express Online sat down with Anthony Daniels to chat about his new book, I Am C3PO. We had to ask him about the backlash and what he thinks of the Last Jedi. The actor says. Well, yes. Oh, I do understand why fans are unhappy. It speaks to a devotion that they care so much uh, that they mind if someone messes with it. I understand people being critical of the films. Do you? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand the fandom menace? He's remained fairly silent until now, uh, while stars like Mark Hamill have dropped loads uh, online and in inter interviews. <laughs> Daniel says, I know. it. I can't do Anthony Daniels. I, I can't. I sound. Uh, I sound like a hobbit. I can't do Anthony Daniels' refined British accent. I can't. And, you know, I should be able to because I sat in front of him uh, at a convention way back in 2006, and he was there with David Prowse. He, was, uh, he had a table full of pictures, glossy pictures of C-3PO, and he was yelling at children who were trying to touch you. You're getting your fingerprints all over those. Uh, I still can't do it. Come on, Ethan. Get C-3PO. He was yelling at children who were touching his, uh, touching his 8 by. 10 glossies and I got to listen to that all weekend that was fun little surreal little surreal you know because uh you know when when you can't see him because I can only hear him through the through the curtain uh, I imagined he was yelling at R2D2 uh, but he wasn't it was just small children Star Wars fans uh so in any case uh yeah Daniel says I know it has been particularly difficult for him Hamill lately because the new movies haven't given him much to do I certainly recognize that, and I can relate to it. These movies have cucked Luke Skywalker. They've cucked him while pretending to play tribute to him. Uh, it is very, very sad. Uh, yeah, he can relate to that. How can you relate to that? Anthony Daniels, you've been given lots of stuff to do. You're, you're lapping Mark Hamill in these movies. And in, in these new movies, I have felt like a table decoration. <laughs> And that is difficult, because I recognize this character, C-3PO, is worth so much more. Uh, but I understand it is a whole film, not a feature about C-3PO. Well, I'm glad you kept your ego in check. That is just my personal disappointment. I get paid whether or not he does anything, but it would be nice for him to have a purpose. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with uh, Chewbacca's crossbow. You know, I I'm, I'm interested in that. Uh, I'm interested in why your eyes turn red. It looks like uh, the oily droid gets... Uh, What's that? The oil, the greasy, uh, the oil. Uh, I can't remember. No, the 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 noisiest something gets greased. Uh, okay, so I got that all wrong. Uh, but it looks like you were noisy and you got greased. They greased you. They greased you down. Uh, because C-3PO is going to be doing all kinds of stuff in uh, Rise of Skywalker. Evidently, you know, questions are are you know you know what's rising? Is it Skywalker or is it questions about why C-3PO's eyes turn red? and why he's carrying uh, Chewbacca's bowcaster. Who knows? All right, so uh, Daniels obviously cannot give much away, but he teases C-3PO has a major arc. Stop bragging, sir. Stop bragging. It's probably a perfectly average arc, okay? Maybe even below average. Uh, I am very satisfied with what I had to do in the movie, and I'm very satisfied with everything I know about that movie. Is that right? Well, how do you feel about, how do you feel about me, Anthony Daniels? How do you feel about me personally? Oh, you acknowledge you acknowledge some of my some of my points. What wait? What blogger? What YouTuber? I'm just probably everyone, right? Uh, this is a nice follow up story. So uh, Disney Star Wars is dumb, of course. Updates 
updates their blog with a new story uh, to follow up on their last one. More information is known. Reddit user uh, ready to know, okay, posts a brief description of a portion from Anthony Daniels' new book, IMC3PO. Boy, that doesn't sound promising. A brief description of a portion from Anthony Daniels' new book, IMC3PO. You know, it's like, uh, maybe we should just wait till the book comes out. That sounds like fourth-hand information to me. So fourth-hand or third-hand. I myself have not read this book, so I cannot confirm how accurate the description is. Uh, it is not the exact text from the book, however, so keep that in mind when reading the following transcript, uh, Salt Advised, okay? Uh, one page from the book has been added below uh, in regards to YouTube rants. That's me. That's what I do. I rant on YouTube. So, I mean, Anthony Daniels, let's just pretend he's only talking about me. You know, am I a ranter on YouTube or is that more like uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers? I feel like Jeremy's more of a ranter. You know, I'm just a sly, I would consider myself a sly commenter. I would consider myself more of a sly commenter than a ranter, but <clears throat> uh, your mileage may vary. Not many spoilers, but Anthony Daniels asked VJJ if 3PO should have some kind of fitting end. A fitting end? <clears throat> that sounds uh, pornographic. Uh, in epi No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound a fitting end. Fitting something in your rear... No. Uh, in episode 9, JJ replied, Not on my watch, he said. Not on my watch. Alright, so he didn't want to watch C uh, C-3PO get something fit into his end. Uh, AD feels, assistant director feels... Oh, Anthony Daniels. Feels, it's one of the first Star Wars films that respects 3PO's role in the team uh, and doesn't take him for granted. Uh, that was what was kind of fun about Star Wars is that you know, you do take C-3PO for granted. Uh, more or less, he's a burden. You know, more or less, he's a whining, uh, kvetching, uh, as the Jews say, burden. Burden on the team. You know. Yeah. And I wouldn't respect his role either. I wouldn't. Uh, the script being rewritten, uh, often at some points, uh, he never knew which the current draft was, losing some 3PO moments that he really liked. He's haunted. Uh, by a really good conversation between him and Poe that didn't make it. Oh, my God. C-3PO talking to Poe, and we're not going to get to find out with the two of those. Uh... Oh, God. Uh, he felt, And he's haunted by it. He's sweating in the middle of the night. He's having uh, nightmare paralysis over the fact that the conversation that he had with Poe uh, is not going to be in this movie. Poe versus C-3PO. You know, he's waking up, he's like, uh, he feels like there's an old lady sitting on his chest. That's literally what that is. That's sleep paralysis. And you imagine, you imagine that there's an old hag sitting on your chest because you you open your eyes, but you're still dreaming and you're paralyzed. And you, you imagine what it is that's sitting on your chest. And for some reason, uh, it's always uh, an old lady. It's always an old lady. So that's what's happening to Anthony Daniels because, uh, you know, he doesn't get to talk to Poe in this. God, that sucks. That, that sucks. Poor guy. Uh, I may have made all that up just now. Uh, he felt that episodes 7 and 8 left a bunch of threads and tatters uh, that couldn't be tied up well. He acknowledged some of the points in the rants on YouTube. He acknowledges some of my points, uh, but feels that 9 ties everything up well. Good. Tie it up, put it in the garbage can. That's what I did. It's garbage day today. Uh, although the Reddit user places uh, the phrase in quotation marks, I cannot be certain at this time. Uh, that Anthony Daniels actually wrote that statement. Uh, at one point, 3PO says the phrase, the phase, phrase, a common emblem, uh, which he had trouble with. Uh, the biggest crowd scene uh, with many characters and creatures was filmed in Jordan with the royal family hanging out on set. That sounds nice. Uh, he feels like uh, the rise of Skywalker gives him and Mark Luke a better chance to say goodbye, though it's not really clear if he means on the films uh, or like in the film or just in real life. Uh, the scene with the whole team on the speeder across the desert was choppy and painful. Oh, uh, during the scene where the team flees from the Knights of Ren down a narrow cobbled street, uh, he bonded with Carrie Russell over having uncomfy costumes. Oh my God! Oh, these women. Uh, anyway, it's a really funny and entertaining memoir. They say uh, I'll be the judge of that when I don't read it. Uh, does he talk more about his experiences uh, in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi? Uh, relationships with J.J. Ryan, Kathy, other cast, cast members, Carrie's death. He mainly says that he was disappointed that he wasn't in them much. Oh, that's, you know, that's heavy. That's profound. Uh, he didn't like the red arm. That's heavy. That's profound. Uh, but later enjoyed the comic story about how 3PO got it. You read that? 
Uh, you're the only one. The scripts made him feel like a Christmas decoration being brought out for nostalgia's sake. Uh, just stuff about how childlike and enthusiastic J.J. was, and uh, nothing really about K.K., Kathleen Kennedy, except a brief mention of uh, her asking if he wanted to return. A few gentle complaints that Ryan was uninterested in listening to his suggestions. That sounds familiar. That sounds like something that we've seen uh, Mark Hamill uh, express. Uh, we've seen it on his face. We've seen it on his withered, drawn, uh, leathery face, you know. Just a few days in Ryan Johnson's presence, Having to listen to him talk in interviews. Mark Hamill, age 20 years. It's very sad. Uh, compared to Lucas, but called uh, calls him a respectful, calls him respectful and kind. You think Mark, uh, you think uh, Ryan Johnson's respectful and kind? Yeah, kind of a dick. Uh, a lot of emotional stuff about Carrie. He uses their last scene in The Last Jedi to go on a long detour about their friendship and what she was like. Not really much about new cast, other than that they were friendly and youth, uh, youthful. Uh, youthful. Uh, all right. Uh, Christ, Anthony, the last thing you needed to put in print was any sort of acknowledgement of the rants on YouTube, says someone. Uh, he does say they're too negative even when they have a point. Awesome. Uh, for I, I think everything that I say is positive. I think it's just good, useful criticism. Uh, for what it's worth, here's uh, the page where he mentions YouTube. So they, um, listen, these people do read. Uh, they read YouTube. I know Ryan Johnson uh, watches this show. Do they read YouTube? I mean, they watch YouTube. I know Ryan Johnson watches this show. He's acknowledged me before uh, bitterly, and uh, I hope he's watching now. Ryan, um, my uh, Halloween uh, video, uh, I know it's true, pal. I know it's true. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hey, double check. See if you're still subscribed to this channel. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. I need you here. Click like. That's the kindest thing that you could do. That's kind. It's kind. And what, what did he call? Uh, what did he call Ryan Johnson? Uh, kind and uh, oh, he's self-contained and quiet. I forgot what what the words were that he called Ryan Johnson. Oh well, well it's it's kind of you to click the thumbs up button, uh, and I would appreciate it if you did that. Join this channel, um, join uh, this community, join the fandom menace as we approach Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Love you all. See you again later with another video. Bye. Hey, I got a PO box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.